Now let's see why eraser coding can be important for your business. In order to better understand the concept, I will show you an example of how eraser coding is working. Imagine, for example, that you've got disk, let's say 10 disks, in which you can put data. Then, for security reason, you want to put additional disk, meaning that it will increase the capacity of your infrastructure to resist for uh, the loss of a disk, for example. Let's put five additional disks here. When you speak about eraser coding, they will be named as K and M. If you want to write data on this eraser coding protected disk, an example, I've got a one terabyte file. This one terabyte file will be split into smaller chunks. The chunks will be divided by the K factor. Here, K is equal to 10. So the one terabyte file will be split onto 100 gig chunks that will be written on each of the data disk. I will call them like that for the moment. Of course, for the security, I will write also 100 gig on the redundant disk. Up to now, it looks like as the red security that we spoke about at the beginning of this blog in another video. But it's again the same. You can lose one disk, you can lose two disk, three disk, four disk, up to five disk without losing access to your data. So why is it so different from red levels? The biggest difference is that when we speak about red level, we speak about something which is managed by the single disk controller. Here, with every coding, I can imagine three racks, three different rooms, three different data centers. And let's imagine that I put the first five disks on the first data center. There again five disks in another data center and the remaining five ones in another location. Again, although they are in different locations, they are seen as if it's a single disk array, meaning for your server connecting to it, for your customer, it's seen as a single point of storage. And of course, we can lose one of the rack, one of the room, one of the data center, without losing access to your data. And of course, another very interesting point is that in this schema, in order to get high availability for your data in three separate locations, instead of having at least 200% of your disk volumetry, if you imagine replication between two rooms, or 300, in this case, between three rooms, you only need 150% of the required capacity. You remember, K equal 10, M equal 5. And so you've got high availability, but also a huge cost reduction in what you need to buy as a hardware for your business.